it's me, and we are going to um, start our first exclusive painting that I'm making just for you guys. Uh, the first painting is right here, and I uh, decided to call it Revolution, um, in with the idea that the mother and the child, like their world, is sort of revolving around each other, um, and her her body and her arm and her hair are sort of revolving around her children as they grow. All right, so I always start with brown on brown and white on the canvas <clears throat> and I know a lot of artists uh, grid their drawing and grid their canvas so that they make sure that the you know the pieces are all in the right spot but that's not really how I work so this is how I start a painting I look at it and I say alrighty here we go and I start painting and however it changes because I always know that it will change it's really okay I always have a tendency to feel like if it's going to change, it's meant to change. And um, so I'm going to um, just sort of sketch with my brown. I like to keep it really simple. Um, even back when I was designing logos, always, um, back then, always black and white. So I don't have uh, black paint in my studio. So it's always brown and white. Um, getting an idea for how the piece will look um, structurally and how its form will come together before messing with color. Um, I learned in design school and I have um, learned while teaching myself to paint over these last many years that color can sure mess up a painting very quickly. So today I'm just using Grumbacher Brown. Usually golden is my paint of choice, but I ran out just yesterday and my new paint is on order so I had to skip off to the local craft store and buy some a little cheaper brand but it, it works good um, so kind of getting getting the feel for the main shape of the painting I can already visualize this piece I've actually been visualizing that piece like this for probably a year where the mother's hair um, helps to finish the circle and that's what we're going to do with this one is the hair is going to finish the circle and little I want to tuck little things in her hair sort of like um sort of like an earth mama or a Gaia sort of thing and I've been wanting to do that for a very long time and I've I, I suppose I've attempted it at times but it's never I've never uh, tried to do exactly um, what I have in mind for this painting so um, I will um, stop talking here at some point and speed up the painting so that you don't have to sit for hours and hours of, of uh, painting and I don't have to talk for hours and hours of painting. Generally, I like to listen to uh, podcasts, um, inspirational podcasts, um, business podcasts, mothering things, um, um, NPR, songs, music, audiobooks. Um, while I paint. So being here with you guys is, you know, pretending to be here with you guys is kind of like really awesome. I've, I've honestly never done a painting workshop. I've taught a variety of business classes at the college um, <clears throat> and logo design classes, but I have never actually taught an art class. And I know that's not what this is, but, um, you know, the idea of painting while, um, you know, talking and explaining kind of what's in here while this is happening is rather new to me, besides working with my, my sons in their school and doing some work while they watch. Um, mostly this is all foreign to me, so I thought this would be really fun, and I'm just picturing y'all here with me, which helps me to not have, you know, the shaky voice and, uh, and too much anxiety, just pretending that we're all here together and um, we're just hanging out and I'm painting. And I know a lot of you probably paint too, so I want to um, also use this as an opportunity to inspire you, which is really, you know, you know, in regard to inspiring, um, I want to inspire mothers in general to focus on moments and see what's happening in front of them and capture those, you know, um, stop and notice those moments. That's my primary vision. Um, but I'm, I'm realizing that I also have a secondary vision of, 
of wanting to um, somehow play a part in inspiring mothers who want to be artists. So more to come on that later, but at this time, um, we'll just pretend that we're together. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop there for a moment because um, I'm going to need to clean my brush and get some white paint. As you can see, adding white, um, I like to get the painting as rich and um, as full as I can in brown and white, and that's where I work out all of the details of how um, chins and heads go together and shoulders, and I get the whole structure done in brown and white. And I often leave the people naked as well, um, and I work on their skin, and sometimes I will work on their skin for hours and hours and hours and then end up putting clothes on them. So it's kind of funny, but the clothes um, that I do, that I do um, paint generally are fairly transparent. So usually the skin, at least a little bit, shows through anyway. Because really what, one of my favorite things about the mother-child relationship is the skin, the skin on skin. And it's the automatic hand gesture that I, that I do is that. And I find myself doing it without even trying. And, and so, yeah, if you had to come up with a hand, move, a hand movement to describe what I do, that's it. This. <laughs> kind of funny. But I do have a lot of paintings where the baby is tucked into the neck of the mother because it just seems like such a perfect fit. So, anyway, um, brown, and, brown and white, and I've got a lot of work to do here. I <laughs> sketching in the hair, which you can probably tell is one of my very favorite parts, and I love playing with the hair. And even when I start out intending to make a painting of someone with short hair, I so very frequently end up with someone with long hair, because I have so much fun creating the hair. Oh. 